Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. <clears throat> well, today we have another bagging. That means we have another review. Let's find out what is in this bag. All right, we have two. No, two. I thought maybe it was three. Felt like three. Stamped cross stitch kits. And this comes from FGOBY. And the first one that we have is called Glacier Lake. It's a 40 by 50. It was $6.71. I'm just going to move this out of my freeway. And as you can see, it's a DIY cross stitch. Let me get this out of its bag. Okay. Is that not beautiful? Look at all the snow on those trees and the water. This looks like it could be down at our at the Arkansas River where I live. And that's pretty much close to what it looks like when there's a whole bunch of snow. There's a lot more snow there than there is right now cuz we don't have much. It's all up in the mountains, but yeah, that's what it reminded me of. I like the sunset there and the the sun's reflecting on the water. I think it's gorgeous. Let's see what we got in here. Well, being a typical DIY, I did when I look for things to order, I look at all the 11 counts, everything together. I don't go separate category unless I'm looking for something case specific Joy Sunday. Do I rarely okay I'm gonna look through all the DIYs. I'm gonna look through all the Joy Sunday and the spring and you know I look at it as a whole and whatever pictures you know hit me or strike a chord with me yeah that's pretty much how I pick and choose. So I had no idea that this was a DIY cross stitch does come with two needles right here, so there will be no tool kit in this. Kind of a small pattern. A little upset about that. It has 21 colors, but the color palette supports that. Do you know what I mean? It, it doesn't have a whole lot going on besides trees, snow, and water, and the sunset. So, I think that the color is going to be just fine. Now, this background here is a tree so that is very confetti there there's a little confetti here and here and here this is the water and the sunset part yeah so let's see what colors we have and you can see the color palette running some kits have this some kits don't so we have 154 which is the mulberry we have 823 and 939, no, 3371. And for white, we have 3865. So, yeah, but they could have made this pattern a whole lot bigger. It's a micro version of the actual size of the, the thing. But it is printed well. I wanted to say that. That's where I was going. And you can almost see this. You might need to blow it up if you were going to use it for any time, period. But the symbols are very nice and very clear. No smudges, no smears. I like that. Let's see if I can show you these colors. So as you can see, it's kind of a muted almost uh, color palette, if you will. Very nice. I like all the blues, the purples, the shades of like. I love this color. It's like a cross between purple and blue. It, it's just gorgeous. And look at that baby blue and baby pink. Oh my goodness. And then you get into your darker blues. And you even have a couple, uh, three, and I'm not sure. I think that's a pale purple. So, you have three different shades of gray. Then you have kind of a pale, pale lavender down here. And you also have some oranges because that's a complementary color to blue. So, you have to have a little bit of that, but that'll be the sunset. So, very nice. Very nice indeed. 
I do like that. And it's on a thread card. I love it. I love it. <laughs> One last thing I gotta sort out and put on a ring somewhere. Yeah. No. Alright. Let's take a look at the canvas. The canvas is not surged. But I haven't had too much problem with these canvases that aren't even surged. They, you know, and this is very stiff fabric. Even though they're not surged, they don't seem to fray. Now, you can get this stuff called Fray Check, and it's kind of a liquid. And I don't... I think it comes in a bottle a little bit bigger than this clip. And you just run the point down along this edge, and it'll stop it from fraying. I have no idea how much it is. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. You may even be able to get it at FGOBY. Now, also, before I forget, if there's any specials or I have any discounts, that's all going to be at the beginning of this video, and it will also be in the description box below. But this is very nicely printed. I'm going to fold it in half so that light does not go through it. But very easy to see. It's an 11 count. You can't see the picture very well. But nice, big, huge key, you know. If you're like me, my eyes get tired really fast. So, I, I like that. I, oh, there's the red X. Oh, there's the green line. It, it's like, I can see it immediately. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And I don't think this would be too hard to stitch. I think this would be a good one. For somebody who's never done confetti before, it's not overwhelming confetti. It, it's and this blue runs throughout all this and then there's just maybe we'll call it 10 or less different colors in that background but you can do them one at a time and go take your time it's not every third one is a different color like New Orleans and um, London they're they're both got uh really Okay, even my big one, my my very first big one that I got, yeah, it, it's it's got some confetti. So I would do all those, all those blues. I would do all that blue, and then I would pick another one that looks like it has the most, the most symbols within, you know, say your given area, and I would do that. And I would just start picking them by how many there are of them. So that when you get down to this yellow, say, you can put in all those yellows or leave them till last, or not last, but until you get over here. Oh, I'm working on yellow, but there's like 20 of those extra yellows there. So I'll go do those. And you get them done one at a time, the ones that you left that had the least amount of symbols so it makes it a whole lot easier but very nice let's see if we can measure this oh sorry forgot to show you something product paper product no the canvas and the paper pattern will all match so this is your product number this is how big it is and it's 129 by 173 stitches has nice wide margins and this is a a good size it's not overwhelming size it's very doable it is almost 49 centimeters or 19 and a quarter inches and this one is 38 and a half centimeters or 15 and a quarter inches actual picture size is a little over 11 and a half inches or almost 29 and a half centimeters and this way it is 40 centimeters and 15 and three quarter inches so it, it's not too big and you can just do a little bit at a time and it'll be done you know, especially in this corner. You could work on all the yellow within. I would just pick 
like a 12 by 12 area or a 16 by 16 area and just do that much and that way you don't have to worry about oh there's yellow there but there's yellow way over here just focus on what is in front of you and is doable and that way it doesn't make it too overwhelming but very nice for a DIY yeah oh and this one oh my goodness you'll know why I got it when you see it this one is 50 by 50 it was nine dollars and fourteen cents let me get it out of the bag all right is he not beautiful I will put an extra picture of him right there he is just stunning I absolutely love it you know I always say he I think a dragon does he's I know there has to be two of those to make all that work but yeah it could be a girl I have no idea I just thought the colors were stunning <gasps> yeah love it love it love it love it all right I'm drooling again I, I'm sorry Product number, how big it is, it's 191 by 191. It does come on a page with all of the instructions on how to start, how to finish. If anybody ever has any questions on how to start this or that or that kind of thing, just put a comment below and I will text you back. Or if I don't text you, you know, in the, the or comment on your comment, so to speak, I will address it in the next stitch with me. At least I try. Yeah. I love this. You know I love dragons. Oh my gosh. And here we are. Oh, it's one of those. Okay, so the paper pattern is not real good. Can you see the smudging and the smearing? This has 46 colors. You can almost see the... Uh, little key that runs along here I hope that the canvas is better than this I mean I can wing it if I have to I can wing it now if this should happen to you contact the company and let them know what's going on and nine times out of ten they will give you a I call it PDF or whatever it takes to get you there um, It'll be a file, and it'll have this on file, and you can download it to your own computer so that you have it for your own sake. Yeah. This is smudged and smeared. Not smeared exactly. It's just bled through like it wasn't dry. So, yeah, I'm a little hyped up about that. But, yeah, I, I, can, I can wing it. And it even has thread color going down the sides. I don't even know if I can see this. Let's see. It's got 154 Mulberry. No 310 Black. We have 550 Purple. 823 939. No 3371. We do have 3777, which is a brick red. And no, 3865. So there's no white, white in this. Well, according to this. So, yeah, we'll take a better look when we get to the canvas. And I was just thinking, you know, it's really nice not to have these. Well, we're back at it. Let's see what else is in this kit. We have a tiger. We have five needles, poop ball, thimble, and needle threader. It does... The thread comes in its own bag, once again, 50 by 50, if I get it down, 50 by 50, and the product number, paper pattern should match the canvas. Yeah, not real happy about the paper pattern, but it's not going to deter me from stitching this at all. All right, so you have 939, which is dark navy. We have 823, which is a little bit more blue than black does that make sense and we have 154 i knew that there's your mulberry color so 
we'll put that aside. Let's take a look at the rest of the colors. That is, if I can get them all shook off. Hang on. There's quite a few. All right, we'll just take it one card at a time. Look at those purples, turquoises, green. Look at that beautiful, it's like a periwinkle blue. Mm. We have mauve, kind of a goldish brown, if you will. Very pretty. This is like a, a dark teal. It's like a dark blue-green, because, um, yeah, I know. What's the difference between two yellows? I'm sorry. But look at the rest of this. Look at that kaleidoscope of colors. Can you ever? Oh, my goodness. And if that isn't enough, let's take a look at this side. Beautiful, gorgeous, outstanding jewel-toned reds, purples, purple, purple. Blue, blue, blue violet, I guess. I don't know what else to call that color. You even have some browns and some rust colors. Corals, pinks. Ugh. It's got every color of the rainbow. And, and then some beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. We're going to put them puppies right in the middle and fold them together so they don't get distracted and and run away or you know because stuff happens and I can't even back up the video and look to see what actually came with it to know what I did next you know yeah that happens to me not so much lately but yeah. I'm trying to get all these stupid little fringes off all right let's look at that canvas and the canvas is not terribly thick. And this is going to be a good crunching uh, fabric. I can hardly wait to start it. Yeah, it's going to have some moments. But it looks like... I'm just trying... All the colors are on their, their squares. That's good. We won't have to fight that. This one is surged all the way around. Product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. Let's look at this side. You have some nice big areas to stitch. There's going to be some confetti. But I'm not seeing a whole lot. But it's still very easy to see and read the symbol. Very nice. Yeah. And this, is, this fabric will break down a lot faster than... Some that I've had, but very nice. Nice big key, very dark printing, very easy to see symbols. And the surging does not go into the numbers. So very nice. And since things are on a thread card, all you need is that the number here on this side and the symbol that to know where you're going. So that's why I like simplified red cards I'm gonna oh well I'm gonna turn it around yeah it's a 50 by 50 Laura wake up here it's square oh some days some days we do have our moments all right it is almost 20 inches or 50 and a half centimeters so it's a little bit bigger and this way it is 50 and a half centimeters or 19 and three quarter inches. Actual picture size is almost 17 and a quarter inches or 43 and a half centimeters by 44 and a half centimeters or a little over 17 and a half inches. So it's, it's pretty good size but it's not it's not a heavy canvas by any means it you know you can stitch on this year round pretty much and it's not overwhelmingly large and it does have those big areas like starting right here way bigger than the rest of them so I'm assuming that's your background 
that's going to go together. I would start with the dragon. That's exactly where I would start and just work my way through. I don't care about backgrounds. I want to see what that dragon looks like. Yep. All right. Now, uh, FGOBY has cross-stitch diamond painting and paint by number. They have tools and crafts for all three of the majors. And they do have a separate Joy Sunday section. And they probably by now have a separate section for spring DIY and you know all of them most of the stores are getting that they always have great prices and a great selection I never come out of there going I can't find a thing I want no that never happens so and they do have embroidery in regular embroidery and beaded embroidery but it's usually the little small keychain type things for beaded embroidery yeah so thank you FGOBY for these beautiful gorgeous kits I just absolutely love the dragon yeah he's my favorite but you know that going into this yeah the rest of it never ever stands a chance if there's a dragon up against them yeah thank you all for watching today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.